Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you enjoy cooking with your cast iron Dutch oven, put together a cast iron Dutch oven cooking set, then it's good for grab and go whether you're going camping, out to the fire pit, or in an emergency when you needed to do some outdoor cooking. Gather your supplies together, keep them in a tote bag, and you're ready to go with your cast iron Dutch oven cooking. First of all, you need a sturdy Dutch oven. Get one with a matching lid. I like this one. This one has the actual feet on it, and that's considered like the camp oven because it's designed to go over charcoal and in a campfire. Some of them have a flat bottom, and they're designed for stovetop cooking, things like that in the oven. You can even use these in a smoker. So choose the cast iron Dutch oven that you want and then you need to season it. Take some kosher salt, sprinkle it in your pan, then you can either take a wet paper towel or a rough brush, scrub the salt all around and remove all the grime on your pot. Rinse it completely and dry it well with paper towels. Coat it with vegetable shortening or something like Crisco and then you put it in the oven or on your barbecue grill. You want to make sure all of the excess oil has dripped off, burned off, and you're just left with a shiny, smooth, non-stick finish that we love so much about cast iron. Then you want to add some accessories to do your cooking. You're going to need some utensils that are designed for sturdy cooking, outdoor cooking, nothing that's plastic. You want something that's wood or metal that you can use with your outdoor cast iron Dutch oven. Something I like to do is bring along a cake pan and an extra, just an old pie tin. You can use the pie tin underneath the Dutch oven. If the ground is extremely wet, put your coals in here. They're gonna burn better if the ground is wet. You're still gonna be able to burn your charcoal, get your fire going, without it causing a problem for your outdoor cooking. Then the cake pan is great because you can use it to cook biscuits, all kinds of things that can't sit right on the bottom because they'll burn. So a trick to making something like cornbread or biscuits is you remove the lid, then you put the cake pan down in the bottom. It elevates it off of the hottest surface. Then you can put your cake pan right into the Dutch oven, add your cake, bread or biscuits, put on the lid and it's baking like it is in the oven. When you cook in the oven, it's not laying against the sides of the oven, it's cooking in the middle of the oven. If you don't have the extra pie tin, you can always take some uh, aluminum foil. I like the Reynolds wrappers because they're just nice size sheets. Crumble up the aluminum foil, make a layer in the bottom and set your cake pan on top of the aluminum foil balls. Another reason to enjoy the foil wrappers, you can wrap up things like baked potatoes, hobo dinners, all kinds of foil meals, and you can place them inside the Dutch oven, put on the lid, and bake them there rather than into a campfire. They can sometimes bake more evenly, especially if you just have a few of them. You can manage to bake them or cook them right in your Dutch oven. An essential for your Dutch oven is a lid lifter. You need to be able to lift the lid and get it out of the way. This one is nice because you can use it to lift the entire pot by the bale. So make sure you get a lid lifter that you can safely remove it when it's hot. Make sure you have a few pot holders then you want to make sure you have a way to start your fire. Make sure you have some matches, whether they're strike on the box, strike anywhere matches, some utility lighters, cigarette lighters, all kinds of ways to start a fire so that you can actually prepare the food you planned on with your cast iron Dutch oven. Gather it all together, keep it in a tote bag, Put it with your emergency supplies, your camping gear, your hunting gear. Place it where you're most likely to remember it and have it handy to grab and go when you're heading outside, whether it's for an adventure or an emergency. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.